Me and Roland Garros was a long, long road, but ironically, it's almost the first Grand Slam that I should have won, as it was the first one where I had a decent results. And then everything came unstuck. I had to wait a long, long time. So much, it ended up being the one big title that I was missing. I think that everything happens for a reason. If I didn't win a Roland Garros when I was young, it's because something was missing and I needed to search inside myself for the answers. Andre Agassi is a legend of the sport, somebody that has inspired thousands and thousands of young tennis players around the world, not just with his tennis, but with his uh, charismatic personality, uh, his character that was quite different, quite revolutionary, the way he dressed, the way he he played, uh, you could see he plays with a lot of passion. He was one of the very few players that won all four Grand Slams, so that's, that's what I'm trying to, trying to do, put myself in that position as well. At the beginning of uh, my Grand Slam career, I had the most decent results in, in uh, Roland Garros, and actually I grew up in Serbia playing the most on that surface, on clay courts. Unfortunately, the title hasn't arrived yet in my career, but, you know, I can definitely be inspired with these words. And Dragas is a great example of somebody that never stopped trying. Clay court wasn't his most preferable surface, and uh, you know, many people gave him a, a great chance to, to win it there, but he did it. He did it with, uh, you know, persistency and self-belief. So if he can do it, I think, I believe I can do it too, and um, I'll just keep on trying. <laughs>